Hey everyone, it's your boy Doc Williams with AppSumo and today we're gonna to be talking about OneStream Live. This platform allows you to use content that's already pre-recorded and send it out live on more than 40 plus social media platforms at the same time. So, come with me. Okay, everyone, as always, before we get started, make sure you go to appsumo.com slash one stream dash live to get this deal before it's gone. Now, what are some of the benefits of using pre-recorded videos with your content? Well, number one, when you're going live or when you have that that feature on social media going live, you get a lot more attention than just posting a video. The algorithms on almost every single platform is focused on live content. So if you upload live content, you're going to get a larger audience when it is activated. So if you schedule your uh, your your content live, you're gonna be able to get a larger audience. Now, how can you do this? Once you redeem your coupon code and you get one stream live, you're gonna be taken to this dashboard, okay? Let's go to the dashboard. You'll see all your analytics, all of those things. You're gonna be seeing your ongoing live streams, your scheduled streams, your connected accounts, and also very specific overview analytics of what's going on, what's happening. Now, what I like about this platform is this allows you to have a streamlined approach and not getting bogged down in the weeds of constantly worried about going live. Now, I, I'm an advocate of going live because you can always uh, interact with your audience and all these things are great, but perhaps if you're really busy and you're trying to just get a set schedule to make sure that you're consistent with your content, there's nothing wrong with using pre-recorded content right out the gate and then making sure you're putting in your other live content as well based on how you're feeling and when you have time. So what can you do first? Number one, if you click the button at the top, you can add your new streams. You can bring this in, import it, or record it right here. Or you can upload it via Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. So this allows you to start putting in, in loading in all of your content. So you're gonna be building out a library of content. Now afterwards, you're gonna be able to schedule all of your streams right here. You click Schedule New Stream, and you can start putting all of your content in the query. Now if we query, now if we look at the AppSumo deal, how many do we have that we can load in? We can have 15 queued up in the stream if you get the standard or 30 queued up for professional. So if you're worried about, okay, what should I be doing for a month? If you get the professional plan, you can queue up a month worth of content, putting out videos every single day if you want to. If you feel like that's too overwhelming, start with the standard plan, and that's half the calendar filled out with content that you're going to be putting out live. Now, please note, this is something to keep in mind. If you go live and you have pre-recorded content, make sure that you're telling your audience that it's pre-recorded. Don't pretend that it's live, right? Because uh, have you ever been on a webinar where someone's like, oh, I can't put on my screen because I have a cold or something like that, and it's just a pre-recorded video, and they, they're trying to trick the audience. Don't... <laughs> Your audience isn't stupid. They're gonna know that it's pre-recorded, especially if you're not engaging with the audience. So just keep that in mind. You see examples of Gary Vee and others. They'll put uh, either the uh, you know the logo like pre-recorded or they'll do some kind of overlay on the video to let people know. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go and re-record and cut all your videos, but even in your description or things like that, just realize your audience knows when you're live or when you're putting out pre-recorded content. So, you know, treat treat your audience that, <laughs> that they're not stupid, right? So just keep that in mind. It's not going to replace a genuinely a genuine live stream when you're when you're using pre-recorded content. So that out of the way, I would make sure that if I'm looking at taking advantage of this platform, what would I do? I would, number one, use the feature of ongoing live streams where I'm already scheduling and uh, making sure that, again, I'm, I'm putting content that can always be applicable. 
number one, I'm not putting dates or I'm not talking about the weather or I'm not doing something where it's automatically, you can tell that it's dated. It's timely information that you can be queuing up and you can constantly have it running in the background, maybe once or three times a month that you're having ongoing content. Now, again, the ongoing different from scheduled, ongoing, you can keep reusing the same content or you know, sum to content that, that makes sense for your audience. Uh, also keep in mind, you can have multiple team members on this platform. And more importantly, the most important thing that I think people need to look at is your streaming analytics, right? So once you start using this platform, start knowing your numbers of not just going live on everything, which you can, but looking at where you're having traction, where you're having, well, number one, where you're having traction, and more importantly, what subjects you're having traction on. So if you're just loading up content and you're like, ah, I need to cover the, the calendar. Okay, that's okay for the first time that you're experimenting, but you need to be looking at your, your, your analytics to see what's working, what's not working. Is it the times? Is it the subjects? How can you change it to make sure that your content is more effective using this tool? Now, we're gonna be also talking about something with an elephant in the room that I see in the comments, a lot of people are asking, is one stream live the same as repurpose? Can I do the same thing? No, it's, it's like comparing apples and oranges. It does two different things, okay? So again, one stream live, the main, purpose of this platform is to be able to use pre-recorded content and then put it live. Okay. Schedule and live stream recorded video, right? So we're looking at everything pre-recorded with restream. The whole focus of this platform is to be going live simultaneously on 30 plus platforms, but it's all live. They do have a component that does pre-recorded, but it's an add-on, right? So if we look at this, we're looking at Restream real quick. Stream live recorded videos with scheduler, that is just a portion of what they're doing, but it's definitely not their main thing, right? And if you look at it, they're charging $19 a month. If we look at it, 120 minutes duration, $49 a month, loaded and everything like that. We see a, a five gigabyte, limit let's go back to what we've got here we have a 20 gig limit right here max one hour per live stream 15 in queue so again very different very very different and then look at this event looping 99 dollars a month it's already standard in this plan that you're getting with one stream so again keep in mind they're doing two different things. You've got to think about what do you want to do with your business, with your content. And again, make sure that you understand the strategy of what you're doing with marketing versus just going out and thinking, okay, this can, this can be a substitute as well. I really advocate for going live on your platforms as well. And then, you know, sprinkling in other pre-recorded content as well. But let me know in the chat, in the comment section below, what's going on with your business and what you're thinking about using this for. Um, if, if people want, I can do an in-depth version of a versus video of one stream live versus repurpose, but let me know in the comments below if you want something like that. Or again, let me know if you have more questions on one stream live and some of the features. Again, what I would really focus on is not getting wrapped up in all of the different features of one stream live, Focus on what you really want to do as your primary a primary thing that you want to do and then add on. There's a lot of things that you can get involved in OneStream Live, but make sure that you understand, excuse me, how you're going to be using this for your, for your business to get more leads and clients, not just putting out more content. What is the purpose? Where are you going with this platform? All right, everyone. So as always, make sure you go to appsumo.com slash one stream dash live to get this deal. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.